odd year, that we have what's called a big session. Um, and that's just like a regular legislative session that runs from January till June. Um, that's where most of the legislation is uh, created. That's where the budgets are created and adopted for a two-year period. For uh, uh, It's a biennial period is how all of our budgets are, are structured. Then there's a little session called a short session. It's in February on the even-numbered years. So starting February 1st through March 1st, there will be a four-week legislative session. It was designed primarily to tweak things that were from the big session, um, but has often turned into like a major policy session. So it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's always a challenge because we're still implementing the things from the big session to go into this smaller session. Budgets aren't, aren't um, created, but budgets are tweaked. So that's one thing. So one of our reports is going to be due to the interim committees, which will meet in January. That's not part of the regular session. Those are just called task, uh, or legislative days. So there will be a couple of legislative days in there, January 10th through the 12th, and then February 1st, our report to the legislature has to go in. Um, and then that ends in on March 1st. So we don't have any special bills for that particular time. I don't know of any special veterans bills or veterans issues that would be coming up and addressed during that period of time. So. Um, I, I don't ex I don't anticipate any great activity on, on veterans issues during this February session. So any questions? Um, I have a question about number three and the timeline. Of course, we're we're not on the same timeline, or are we? No. For, uh, so when when would it's we been have delayed? The, uh, do we have an anticipated date for the grant proposal going live? Um. I'm guessing toward the end of the month. Okay. I know there's a lot of people anxious for it, and I receive a lot of questions, so I just want to be able to let others know. One of the things is, that's happened is that our agency does not make grants. So this is a new activity for our agency, and going through the campus veterans uh, grant uh, program implementing that um, we have uh, we're going through a lot of lessons learned from that that was a very specific audience it only went to a very limited group of people this particular grant is going to be statewide all kinds of organizations um, are able to apply there really are very few restrictions on or, uh, on the nature of organizations that can apply. Um, legislature put a couple of sideboards on things saying that ODVA absolutely positively must do a good vetting process on the organizations that apply. Um, but other than that, very few restrictions. So we're trying to make this process easy for people who are going to evaluate it and create some good criteria and create a good process and a form for people. Um, because we're going to get every kind of grant that you could probably dream of. And how do you sort those out? So we want to have a good, clean process. And uh, it's, it's, an, it's a challenge. <laughs> Any other questions?